I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we'll review few concepts about arithmetic sequence and prepare ourselves for the test. The question here is, in an arithmetic sequence, T1 equals to 5 and T3 equals to 10, find T2. As you can see, we are given the first term and the third term, we have to find the second term, which we can do so by finding the common difference since the arithmetic sequence is given to us, right? So there are many ways to do this, but we'll follow a very standard method. That is to begin with general formula. What is the nth term for arithmetic sequence? It is a plus n minus one times d, right? Where n is the nth term, a is the first term, and d is the common difference. In our case, we are given T1. Now T1 is as good as A, first term, which is 5 for us. We are given the third term also. So using the formula, we can write what T3 is. If I write 3 for N, I get the formula as A plus 3 minus 1 times T. Now let us substitute what we are given. We are given T3 equals to 10. A, the first term, is 5. So we'll replace T3 by 10. So we get 10 equals to A is 5 plus 3 minus 1 is 2. We get 2D, right? So we can now rearrange 10 minus 5 equals to 2D or 5 divided by 2 becomes D, which is 2.5. Is that okay? Or you could write 5 divided by 2. Now once you know D, you already know A you can find any term of this arithmetic sequence. Let us find the second one. That is what we need, right? So T2, again applying the same formula, which is A plus N minus 1 times D. A is 5 for us, plus the second term. So it is 2 minus 1. D is 5 over 2. So you can write 5 over 2 or 2.5. So let me write 2.5 for the time being. So we get 5 plus 2 minus 1 is 1 times 2.5 and that gives us 5 plus 2.5 and that is equals to 7 so the second term in the series is 7 right so so we get t2 as equal to 7 now another way to find that answer would have been we know first term and the tenth term right so there are in between t1 t2 and t3 so two times we have added the common difference so if i do subtract 5 from 10 i get 5 dividing 5 by 2 i get common difference d once you know the first term add common difference get the answer so that was another way to do it but my preference is to follow the formulas which you have learned and then solve each and every question it makes sense now let me take uh, Another example uh, to really practice because this was kind of simpler since we were given the first term you may not be given the first term you may be given any two terms from the sequence so now let me take a general case let's say we know that the third term in our case is 23 and let us take uh, the seventh term as 49 and in this case, we know it is arithmetic sequence, and what we need to do is to find some other term. Let that term be, let's say 10, right? So we need to find the 10th term. Let this be the question. Now in this question, you can see, we are not given A, we are not given D. We are just given two terms. So let's again begin with the same formula, over just Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 times D, right? Since we know the third term, let's substitute 23 for, so we are now solving for n equals to 3. So let's solve for n equals to 3, right? So we get T3 equals to A plus 3 minus 1 times D. And this value should be equals to T3 is 23, 23, correct? So let's simplify this A plus 2D equals to 23. So that becomes our first equation. We have two variables here, 
A and D, right? Now, if I write t equals n equals to 7, we get the seventh term as a plus 7 minus 1 times d, which is 49 in this case. So that makes a plus 60 equals to 49. And let me call this as equation number 2. From two equations, if I take away one from the other, right? So let's say we do equation 2, take away equation 1. In that case, a and a will cancel, right? a minus a will be 0. We'll get 6d minus 2d. Let me write down. 6d minus 2d equals to 49. Take away 23, right? 6 minus 2 is 4. So we get 4d equals to 49. Take away 23. 9 take away 3 is 6. 4 take away 2 is 2. So d is equals to uh, 26 divided by 4. Right, so D in this case will be 26 divided by 4 and which is a decimal value. So we can write this as, let me just calculate, okay, 26 divided by 4 equals to 6.5. So we get a value of D as 6.5, right? Now, once we know the value of D, we can always find what a is. You can use any one of your equations. Let's use equation 1. And we'll call this as our equation number 3. So if I sub 3 in equation 1, we can calculate what A is. So A plus 2 times D, D is 6.5, should be equals to 23. So A is equals to 23 take away twice 6.5 which is 13 right and that is equals to 10 right so we get the value of a as 23 take away 13 which is 10 and now we can use the value of 10 in our formula to find the value of 10th term t10 correct so t10 will be equal to using this value a as 10 plus 10 minus 1 times d 6.5 6.5 right that gives us uh, 10 plus 9 times 10 minus 1 is 9 times 6.5 correct so let's calculate this value it is 10 plus 9 times 6.5 equals to in decimals 68.5 so we get the tenth term as 68.5 right so that is how we can actually solve a general question where the first term is not given to us right i hope this example helps you to understand the very basic concept and do similar questions i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos to learn a lot thank you and all the best